Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video we are going to see wiping effect inside of the After Effects. Using this technique, you can do text reveal animation, and as well as logo reveal animation. This will be very simple, yet fun tutorial for you guys, so without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with normal setting. Give it a name you like. I'm taking 1080 by 1080 screen size. You can take anything you like. Now take the type tool. And type a text you like. You can use logos, or images, anything you like. Align the text to the center. Then go to effects and presets and search for 4 color gradient effect. Double click to apply it on the layer. Then you can simply change the color from here. Also you can adjust the gradient using these points. Chose the colors you like. Now take the pen tool and draw a line like this. Try to keep the stroke width value high, so it covers the text easily. Make sure that the line covers the text. Then simply draw the line like this. If you need, you can adjust the stroke at the end. Now open the shape layer. Go to stroke 1. Then change the line cap to round cap. Now change the mode of the text layer, from track mat to alpha mat. On the shape layer, click on this add button, and add trim paths. Open trim path 1, and change end value to 0. Then on the first frame add a keyframe on the first frame, then go forward to 2 seconds, and change the end value to 100. Now you can see that the text is revealing by the shape. Press U to see the applied keyframes, then select the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, and make sure you are in edit speed graph. Then just drag this point something like this, all the way to the left side. Press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this shape layer. Turn on the visibility of the layer. And change the color of the stroke. The open the layer. Go to trim path option. And link the start property with the end property. Just like this. Then open the expression option. And just add minus 0.1 at the end of the expression. Just like this. Once you're done, you can see the last point of the line we drawn at the beginning. And that will give the feel of wiping effect. Now make another copy of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. Place it all the way to bottom. Make it visible. And change the stroke color to white. And also, you can change the point color to something else you like. At the end you can add a solid layer for the background. Give it a color you like. And place it at the bottom. On this last shape layer, we are going to add an effect called Gaussian Blur. Increase the blur value a little bit. Then add another effect called, Rough and Edges. Increase the border value. And as well as complexity value to a high value. You can play with the other value to get different results. This is fine for now. Now we need to blur this point also. So it matches with the background shape. 
Apply the same effects to roughen the edges. This looks fine to me. Nice. If you want to change the background color, just add fill effect on it. Change the color you like. And your animation is done. Instead of text, you can place logos, images, anything you like. So this is all for today. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.